Welcome back to Fallout 4. In the last episode, we just came out of Makra Fishpacking after having cleared it. it. Turned out to be a huge place full of the bodies of raiders and also tons of synths that killed the raiders. And before recording this episode, I of course went back to Sanctuary and dumped all of my stuff and all of Dogmeat's stuff so we've got clear inventories to stuff more loot into. Also, I made a couple weapon modifications. For my main sniper rifle, I attached a silencer to it, and I also put a long scope instead of a medium scope on it. So the uh, the silencer obviously makes it harder for enemies to detect me when I'm shooting. It does have a slight negative effect, though. It takes the range down a little bit. I think it went from something like 190 to maybe like 180. I think it was around a 10-point reduction in range, which really isn't that big of a deal. It's like a 5% reduction in the total range. So I think it's well worth it. And I did the same thing for this weapon. My fast kind of assault rifle sniper thing. It's also got a silencer on it. Pew pew! I could go back to doing main quests, but I still don't want to. I'm just gonna go explore the wasteland. Forget the quests. Let's just find somewhere to be. Something cool to see. Let's go towards... Let's go towards this wizard hat icon on the compass. Maybe a wizard can sell me some wasteland spells. And that is a UFO. <gasps> What'd you find, dog meat? What'd you find, my little squeak toy? I'm gonna explain the UFO in just a second. Oh, you found a safe. Okay, I'll check that in just a second. All right, so I should explain something. I actually tried to record this episode just like 40 minutes ago, but it was a complete disaster. Everything went wrong. So I tried to record this episode before, and here's what went, what went wrong. First, I messed up the recording, so the recording was completely screwed. Just, I, I did something with the audio. No need to explain it, but needless to say, it wouldn't. it would not have been usable footage. But, what also happened is, I saw the UFO crash when I was trying to record before. And what I did right then and there was say, okay, that's incredibly cool, forget doing everything else, I'm gonna go find the crash site. I just wanted to find the freaking UFO. Because I was so excited to see what might be there. However, I never found it. I spent like 40 minutes in the episode trying to hunt down the UFO, and I could not find it. And it's only then, after hunting for it and failing, that I realized the recording was messed up anyway. So, it was kind of a disaster. The recording was messed up, and I spent 40 minutes trying to find a UFO, and I failed. However, I did look up that UFO crash, and I found out that it does actually exist. It, it does actually have a crash site, and you can actually go to it, and it's very similar to the same crash that was in either Fallout 3 or Fallout 3 New Vegas. Because one, or maybe both of those, also had, like, a UFO crash site thing. I guess it's like a recurring joke in the Fallout universe or something. Either way, I failed to find it before, so I looked it up on a wiki, and it turns out it is around Oberlin Station. Yeah, it's somewhere around Oberlin Station. Um, it, it feels so cheap to go find it now, though, now that I've spoiled myself in its location. I just wanted to make sure it actually existed, because I couldn't find it, but now I know where it is. Eh. I guess we'll do it. I did just see a UFO crash, so I guess I should go explore it. But yeah, between the disastrous recording and the fact that I've spoiled where the UFO is, ah, my adventure spirit is kind of crushed. I'm kind of sad. It sucks. Because finding the UFO should have been a really cool thing, but because of, because of both the things I just mentioned, now it's just, it's not cool. It's not nearly as cool as it should be. Ah, well, shit happens. Alright, I'm gonna try to find the UFO, and I'll be right back. Aha! Uh -huh. Here it is. In fact, I feel like I maybe found this before. Maybe? Kinda? I think the wiki said that the crash site does actually exist before the crash actually happens, it's just that there won't be anything there. If you find it before the whole crash event in the sky happens. Alien blood. 
Dog meat, don't go into the fire. Now there's supposed to be something here. I think they're supposed to actually be like an alien. I don't see an alien though. Did they wander off? Oh wait, I think I see some alien blood over here. <gasps> I thought I saw an alien. It was just a stick. But yeah, I think I need to follow the blood. Yes. Yes. Looks like they took shelter in that cave. Okay, well this whole UFO thing hasn't been completely spoiled by the wiki. Because so I didn't know you had to track down the alien into a cave. Oh, it's actually an instance. Cool. This is bigger than I thought. I think that's the alien. Yeah, oh, poor little thing, it's level one. Should I really kill it? Can I talk to it? No, I can't talk to it. I've got to shoot you. I'm sorry, you cute little alien. Oh, I'm sorry. Rest in peace, alien. You were too good for this world. Tons of alien blaster rounds and alien blaster pistol Thank plus. You. 50 damage. Very high fire rate. Good range, pretty good accuracy. Really light too, and it's worth a ton. Whew. Unfortunately though, I don't think you're ever, ever gonna find more ammo for it, right? I mean, who's gonna make alien blaster rounds? Nobody on this earth. Nobody on this planet. Okay, well, I'm glad I did that, even if it wasn't nearly as epic as it should have been because the whole didn't find it first and then spoiled myself on the wiki. Yeah, I don't like to look things up on the wiki in general, but in that case, after spending 40 minutes searching for it, being completely lost, I was really frustrated. Okay, let's go back to exploring, genuinely, things that are completely unknown. Let's go into the unknown, back to where I was before. Let's go to the ironworks. Oh wait, I haven't actually discovered that. I have not discovered that either. But I have discovered that. Let's start from the satellite array. Also want to test out the alien blaster, of course. That is not a gun. That's a gun. Pew pew! This thing sounds cool. Looks cool, too. Let's go check out the ironworks place. Yeah, let's head north. Car just fall off. Is that someone who needs me to kick their ass? <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Gutsy. Get him, dog meat.
What'd you find, Dogman? What'd you find? What'd you find? What'd you find? What'd you find? Those squeaks, I love those squeaks so much. Missiles, some ammo. Power armor. I did not mean to get inside of you. I meant to loot your parts. Give me your things. I will sell them. Because I don't like to use power armor. I need to heal really badly. Take some rat away too. This place is huge. Should be lots of fun adventure inside. Who's there? Oh. Nothing there now. What? Get some, motherfucker! Oh! Time's up, asshole! I think they saw dog meat. Now they saw me. Hmm. Car's gonna blow. Dog me. Oh, you're okay. Holy shit. Oh, I'm gonna die. Damn, that does a lot of damage. I wonder what level they are. They are. I didn't check. Nothing there now. You know what, dog meat? Psst. Why don't you go hide Over where you're there. not gonna get me in trouble? I love you, dog meat. But sometimes you get me in trouble. Hmm. Level 21. Huh, they're not that high level. Oh, you know what? They come at me from the ground, a lot of them, right? So let's put down some mines. Gonna need more than that. Back it in, boys. There's nothing out there. Hope the mines do their work. Dog me. Dog over here. Oh shit. <laughs> Yeah, they do a lot of damage, but one headshot and they're down. Ah! I love this sniper so much. So freaking good. 
They still know I'm here. Oh, one just popped up in the compass. Up above. Now we're good. Did any of my mines at all explode? What about the bottle cap mine? I think the bottle cap mine exploded. Oh, nope, it didn't. Oh, so much for my clever. Clever planning. Now, so if that works, I'm not turning around till I hear the explosion like that. There we go. Dogmeat? I think Dogmeat recovered? Yeah, Dogmeat recovered. Good. So far, I can't say the silencer is really doing anything significant for my stealth. It seems like getting seen is, uh, like, a much bigger factor. Like, just getting visually seen is a much bigger factor in getting detected than sound is, it seems like. I'm guessing that's the spotlights outside, so I don't really care about that, but might as well turn them off. Hey, Dogmeat. Hey, move here. Hey. I want to know if you can wear wraparound goggles, because you can wear welding goggles, but what about wraparound goggles? You know, you can have my alien blaster pistol, actually. Oops, didn't mean to give that to him. Okay, so wraparound goggles. No, you can't wear them. Dang. Oh well. Oh, I've got to re equip the thing that I gave him. Probably a hundred more forged inside. I see how long we can stay in stealth. Probably not long, given that she's right there. Damn it, found me. 
Let them lose me for a second. And. Lost. One blow me to above me. Show your face! Come on! I dare ya! No sign of him now. Turn up, you're dead. Scared, huh? Terminal somewhere. Security's too mm. tight. Can't do it. Maybe we can get over there by going overhead. Be perfect for a sniper. Could snipe their heads from above. Come on out. I'll the make it that? nice and quick. You can trust me. Someone there? Yeah, that's a perfect vantage point for a sniper. Death from above. I know this is bullshit. Everything's starting to sound like footsteps these days. Only a fucking coward hides. Jittery. Guess she was right. Who's out there? Just, huh? Here and shit. You just teleport to the Nothing. ground? At least it sure as hell looks that way. Okay, cut the shit. Who is that? <sighs> what the hell was that? Let's just try bats. Okay, that works. <laughs> Jesus. A lot of kinetic energy I in this body. I'm fucking seeing things. Well, that's most of them. Let's loot this big ass place from bottom to top. There's probably going to be a lot of metals in here. Because this is... an ironworks place.
see what our prize is. Gumdrops, finally food and not just a utensil. cement are really heavy. Uh, but it's okay, I don't think dog meat has much on them. Here. Mm, I'm still really heavy. I've got something I need to get rid of, but I don't know what. Hardened sniper rifle? Yeah, that was pretty heavy. Mining helmet. Oh, dock meat's full. Alright. Well, I'll need to be a little bit careful about what I take now. Only got about 50 pounds or so. To spare. Find someone dog meat? Dog meat? I don't know if that was an angry bark or or a found something bark. Yeah, I think I'll mostly just focus on picking up stuff. That is, uh inside of containers. Probably not just general junk, but only the good stuff. Arsenic. Those who failed to forged. Crime cried out while treating wound. Sentence, a limb amputated, exiled. Holy shit. Chamber. Cheated during first trial. Offender and family fed to forge. What is wrong with these people? Ran from battle, fed to forge died without permission during second trial. Fed to forage. Died without permission. What? Gave meds to enemy. Flayed until death. Jesus. Keep this place running. So that they can feed bodies into it, I guess. Okay, is there any more to this place? Not sure I've been down here. Oh, this is just the main floor, right? Yeah. Okay. I th think I have actually seen everything. I think so. I'm going to go back to Sanctuary and dump my extra loot, and then go back to adventuring. Okay, I'm back here. 
Inventory is cleared out. Let's go east. Let's go east and check out this little place next to the sea. Explore the coast. Good day. Make a move and I'll end you, Wastelander. I think you have to worry about yourself making a move because you seem to be trapped in a rock. Aw, oh, there you go. This site belongs to the Minutemen. Yes, I am the general of the Minutemen. Got the area covered. Good work, good work. Something over this way, it looks like a mine. Ah, so it is. It's a quarry. Raider veteran. Alright, filled with raiders. Let's take him out. It's so bright here. So white. Oh, got a couple coming around here. Really misty, it's hard to see. I can just make out your head. Oh, I know you're here. <laughs> Holy crap, I'm taking a lot of damage. chance to hit is too damn low. Still too low of a chance. That one looked like it was wearing power armor too. Well, there you are. Level 21. I start putting my points into it was ninja damage, right? Yeah, let's put another point into that. Maybe do three times normal damage, and it's a sneak attack. I really like hiding in the shadows and sniping people from afar in the head with massive crits. It's fun. <laughs> Dog meat's just like a running target. Oh, there you are. Get 
taking like 2,000 hit points, my god. I think they are in power armor. <gasps> Dog meat's in danger. I'm sorry, boy, I can't go get you. I need to take out this person first. Shit, they're healing. Must be using stim packs. One more shot, one more shot, one more shot. Come on, reload. Ah, oh, here we go. Okay, I think that's all of them. Hey, you okay, boy? Heads up. Head over there. Go there. Really low on shots for this thing. Got about 30 left. Need to buy some ammo for it. I think the power armor stuff is worth a good amount. Look alive. Really heavy though. I also found a piece of apparel that could be better than what I have. This. That would replace what? This? Yeah, okay, so its defenses are slightly better for physical and energy, but there's zero for radiation. Mm. Do I really care about radiation protection, though? Not really that much. And it does weigh significantly less. Also, looks like it gives me plus two AP, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. How does it look? I'm not even sure if that's any different. Whoa. Oh. The hell was that? Sound like a powerful rifle. Whoa. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm taking shit tons of radiation, my god. Hmm. Yeah, let's go with that. I was looking out for the traps, but I wasn't expecting a gun in a shopping cart. Hugo's Hole. You crazy bastard, do you live here amongst all this radiation? Hazmat suit. That's gotta be, like, Incredible radiation protection, right? Mr. Handy's model kit. Oh my god! <gasps> I just built it! That's so cute! Look at this dog meat! Look at it, boy! Look alive. 
I want you to play go fetch with it. Uh, what is it considered? Miscellaneous? Hey, boy. Grab that. There you go, boy. You're so cute. Sweet. Lightweight reinforced combat armor left something. Left leg? Ah, but I've got the safe crackers metal left leg. Mm, I'm gonna stick with the safe crackers. Hugo struggle. Hugo lost his mind. Deactivate any turrets. Alright, let's take some rat away. And also look at the hazmat suit. Yeah! <laughs> look at that radiation protection 1000. I'm guessing that makes you just completely immune. The only bad thing about it, though, is I'm gonna have to re-equip every single piece of armor, because it's gonna take off everything. That's gonna be so annoying. Take some right away. What does that button actually do? Oh, hey. Takes you to the other side. I don't need to go to the other side, though. people alive here. Sickos. Poor settler. Oh, it's actually an instance. Cool. Probably gonna be really big then. I'm seriously worried about my ammo, though. I'm just losing and losing ammo. At some point, I'm gonna run out.
seems there's been a workplace accident. You know, mining helmets help with some accidents, but they won't protect you if you get sniped in the head. Sorry. Wait! Dog meat wasn't gonna come with me. Psst. Come on, dog Here. Me. Get into position. Come on, boy. Over here. Come on. Come on. Head over there. Okay, I'm gonna push you, alright? No, 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 no. Get back on. Oh, dog me, come on. There we go. Go, 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 go. Yes. Gotcha, dog meat. D don't, don't, don't fu- I love you, dog meat. Don't have the key. Ah. You need to find the foreman or something. I'll find you. Ah, found you. <laughs> Light's so bright I can't even see him. Turn off the lights using this terminal. Nope, but I can turn off the turrets. Communications. Urgent message. Message from management. To Bob Stanson, Station 1. Bob, you're needed immediately down to Station 4. We'll explain when you get here. Management. To management. From Bob to Station 1. Request for new support beams repeatedly denied. Thank you for extra padding at Station 1 Terminal. Station 1 output highest, highest it's been all year. You're doing great work, everyone. Station 1 update. From Bob to management. We continue to produce good cuts from this section. Ventilation excellent. Morale good. Incident free for 93 days. Safety first. Message from management. I was just talking about safety. Please remind everyone to wear eye protection. We recorded our fourth incident of the month where someone lost an eye due to flying rock from machinery. It's simple. Wear eye protection. If we need to bring in the last eyeball we recovered as an example, we'll do it. <laughs> Falling debris. Remember that we are working in a quarry and that conditions can be dangerous. We've set up beams where we think, where we think provide the best support with the least amount of material. It's a cost-cutting solution that has saved us a lot of money over the years. That being said, if you or anyone you know reports rumblings or sees something that looks unstable, give it some time and see if it passes. If not, contact your administrator and we'll set up a time to get the situation looked at. Railings. Much like our support beams, railings cost money. We've placed them where we deemed appropriate, however we've had several incidents involving workers falling to their deaths, especially near Station 2. Please take the time to remind workers to be conscious of their surroundings and not lean on the railings. Some of them have rusted out and may, lo no, may no longer be stable. Every six months we inspect the railings, so if you find one that's no longer sturdy, it's probably on the backlog and will be taken care of shortly. No need to log another complaint. In other words, if you see something and you think it needs to be fixed, don't bother reporting it, and by the way, we're never going to fix it. Because money. Wow. Well, it's good they're saving money. They obviously do not give a shit about the people. Upcoming events. Happy hour. It's that time again. Please join us at The Pit, Station 3, for another happy hour. Drinks will be provided, and as always, the bill will be split for all and taken out of next week's paycheck. So no need to bring cash. Wait, they have to pay for it? Wow. I thought it was supposed to be a gift to everybody, but no, they have to pay for it. 
Please drink responsibly. We don't want a repeat of last happy hours incident involving Jerry falling to his death. Annual picnic. Annual picnic, picnic this year will be held near the entrance to the quarry. Rain or shine. Feel free to bring a dish of any kind. Nuka Cola will be provided. If you're bringing children, please keep an eye on them, especially if they're playing near the quarry ledge. To prevent a repeat of last year's incident, we are excited to announce that we've struck a deal with Robco, and they will be providing an extra sentry bot to keep everyone in order. This is like the most dangerous worksite ever. Jesus Christ. People losing eyes and falling down to their deaths because because of rusty railings or railings that don't even exist. Level. There's so many different ways to go, up and down and oh. Almost didn't see that. Nothing there now. Yes. They didn't want to stop moving. Just taking a break, eating some noodles. Think you can hide? It's probably the same as the last one, right? Oh no, this one's different. Urgent message. From Management 2, John Hatfield, Station 2. John, you're needed immediately down to Station 4. We'll explain when you get there. Hmm. Same thing that happened with the other guy. New boring machine. Thank you for the upgrade to our new boring machine for Station 2. Output increased 5% in the past week. Station 2 update. Steady, good quality cuts over the past couple of months. Traffic from Station 3 continues to slow down our output. I suspect traffic will cease to be a problem once Station 3 and Station 4 receive their materials. Make sure I loot everybody to uh, make sure I get the key. Got it. You know, I was just thinking, the reason I'm wearing one of my pieces of armor is because of the stats. The special stats, not the general resistance, but, uh, like this, the left leg. Increase the size of sweet spot while picking locks, but the truth is, I'm just gaining more and more bobby pins. I'm not running out, so increasing the size of the sweet spot while picking locks is honestly not needed. It's just not a problem, I've got like 80 bobby pins. So, do I have another left leg? This one? Yeah, okay, I'm just gonna wear this then. It is lighter, 
and has better stats. Urgent message, probably the same one as the other ones, right? Yep, need immediately is Station 4. So everybody went down to Station 4, which is where I'm just about to go. Railings request. Hey guys, wanted to check in about those new railings I requested a while back. We almost had another guy fall the other day. Update. Gianna Station 2 continues to complain to our crew for slowing down their production. No matter what I say, he tells me to bring it up with you guys. Can you please talk some sense into him? He knows we need the equipment. What does this do? Oh, lights. Uh, no thanks. Oh, that's so cool. Look at the way they come on and off. Already caring too much hey. again. Scared, huh? Oh, the hazmat suit's also a little bit heavy. Five pounds? It's not too bad, though. Uh. Definitely worth keeping on me at all times. Bedlam. Oh, you're named. You are the boss, aren't you? Do a crit. Oh. All right. Bingo. 5% less damage from robots. You probably have the key, right? No. What the hell happened down here? All turned into ghouls? This is getting spooky. Hey. Oh no, Dogmi's full. Crap. Um. Well, that's a problem. It's a big problem. I wanted to take a bunch of mining helmets with me because I kind of wanted to put them on my settlers, but they are awfully heavy. Each one's five pounds. I guess I'll leave them. Is this place full of gas? Mm-hmm.
This place shakes every once in a while. It's unstable. So I'm guessing this place has been shut down, or like this specific place in the basement that leads to Station 4. I'm guessing it's been sealed for a while because there was chains over it, and that even the raiders down here probably didn't go down here. And the key must be down here too, on one of the people that worked at Station 4, or somebody who went down to meet with the other people at Station 4, which means the raiders have never been up to the office either. Legendary Feral Ghoul Reaver. All right, use the big guns for this. Okay, cool. Please stop moving so I can headshot you. You're never gonna stop moving. Come on! Oh, Jesus Christ! Alright, got him. <laughs> That's enhanced combat armor chest piece. Whoa, what is that? There's a reduction in action points cost in VATS. Hmm. I don't use vats that often, to be honest. I'm finding it to be almost useless, for the most part. Uh, but what about just the, the base stats? Forget the special stuff. What about this, just the stats? What's my current thing? 17-17. Oh, so it's the same. Same stats. Uh, except it's also a lot heavier. And I really don't care about the 10% reduction in action points costs in VATS, so... Nah. I'm good. Just used the door and now I've been like teleported? What the fuck? What just happened? Whoa, 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 what is wrong with this place? Holy shit, that's a lot of them. Dog meat. Dog meat. Help me. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck, they're everywhere. Oh my god, I'm about to die. Grenades and mines would be really good right now. So, yeah, what should I use? Um, fragmentation grenades? Sure. I am one hit away from dying. Oh, fuck. Mm. I'm going the wrong way.
I did not save. Okay, this time let's like preemptively put down mines. Do I want to use the bottle cap mines? They're kind of over the top. I guess I've dumped most of my weak mines. Um, I'll just use mall. I'll just use Molotovs. Oh, it's like a flashback to when people were actually alive. the rest of them. When there's supposed to be like 10 of them coming at me? Where the hell are they? Hello? Oh, there they are. Missile launcher. Targets bleed for twenty five points of additional damage. Hmm. Ah, of course, that put me overweight by five pounds. There we go. Still looking for that key, though. Oh, I woke them up. Okay. So they all came down here for the meeting, and then I guess... Turned into ghouls, got sealed down here, and they've been here ever since? what it seems like. <gasps> Bobblehead! There we go. Permanently 10% harder to detect. Nice. It's been a long time since I've seen a bobblehead. Safety first? No, I don't know. Uh, play tape. Didn't mean to cancel, it was just really quiet. 
Wanted to back away from the terminal to see if it would have subtitles. I think it will have subtitles if I play it from in here. Uh, what was it called? It was this, right? Team shoots here. No suspicions were raised when the new There we go. Subtitles. The other day. Crew at Station 4 are still under the impression that we are setting up a new station beyond this area. The standing crew you hired are convincing enough. However, do worry about the project managers at the other stations. Especially Bob at Station 1. We all know he takes his job very seriously. Bullet point updates bug the hell out of me. My gut tells me we'll figure out something's going on down here sooner rather than later. Please advise. What were they planning down here? Go deeper and deeper and find out. What the hell? We found him! Fuck. Well, I just feel like I'm kind of cheating. Oh shit! Oh, I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die. Even if I heal here, I think I'm gonna die. Unless... What if we slow down time? Okay, I'm gonna heal and slow down time. Let's take some buff jet. <gasps> I become addicted! Shit, what does that mean? I didn't know addiction was even a thing. Well, let's deal with that later. Okay, I'm alive. Oh my god. It just sounds and looks so awesome. Oh, you're okay, boy. Here you go. I think I just picked up the key. And I'm overweight. Wait a minute. Did my weight limit just go down? Is it because I'm addicted? How do I, like, see the effects of my addiction? <laughs> I'm just high, I guess. Uh, that's the symbol, but it doesn't actually describe it. Um... And, oh god. Endurance minus one, strength minus one. Shit. Alright, well, I've got to buy that stuff that cures all addiction, I guess. Damn. And that stuff was pricey, too. But it's alright. It's worth the money. Whoa. What's down there? Let's put on the hazmat suit. Go find out. Ah, it looks so cool. Oh my god, I'm slow even in water. Why am I now encumbered now that I've turned off... Now that I've taken off the other stuff? Maybe something... Like one of it gave me plus to endurance or something? Yeah, plus one strength and endurance. Champion's left arm. That's why. I need to dump more. Um... There we go. What is this?
Looks like a little bit of a, like a UFO or something sticking out of the ground. I'm gonna need air soon. Krem's tooth. This is like an ancient shrine or something, except it's not that ancient because it's got mini nukes on it. Targets bleed and are poisoned. Exceptional damage. It's a sacrificial blade. Look at that thing. Wow. Looks brutal. Oh shit, I'm overweight, aren't I? Yep. Any of this have weight? Nah, nothing significant. Dump some grenades, I guess. There we go. Not the sort of thing I'd use, unfortunately, but damn, is it cool to have it. Wait, I'm just all the way back here? I went down here before and... <sighs> Mind games. What a strange place. And we're still not done. I still need to use the key. Wait. I never went down this way, did I? Or wait. No, that's where I came from, right? I never went up this way. sleep again. Ending combat shotgun. Hey. That can't be true. It must have an end. Oh, unlimited ammo capacity. Okay. Ah, I'm overweight again. Balls. I can't wait to dump my crap. Uh, I don't want to get rid of that. It's got so many things. There's like nothing I want to dump except more grenades, I guess. But no, I need to dump like eight grenades for that. Mm, I don't want to dump anything. Let's save like one pound. I like just don't even know what to dump. I, I guess it's got to be aid. Corn. Sort by weight. Beer. Yeah, that can go. 
Mm, can dog food that can go. Cram, Danny Boy Apples, Insta Mash. There we go, I'm underweight. I'm just gonna pick up, like, nothing, unless it's really, really good. Oh, there's the key. Oh, it's a shortcut back. There's nothing special behind it. It's just a shortcut. Clean blue suit. Oh, well, I've got to take that. Even if I am encumbered. Got to dump two pounds now. It's okay. Drink some water. Eat a Salisbury steak. Eat a couple more. There we go. Now we're of weight. Yeah, I'm not gonna wait. was a long adventure. That was a really cool place to explore. That was so cool. A mining site where people were trapped underground and turned into ghouls and I've just reopened everything. It's like I've let out a great evil. Except I didn't let it out. I killed it before I could even escape. Alright, well, I think that's a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I am going to, of course, off-camera, sort out my inventory situation, and then do some more adventuring. <laughs>